office affairs are what they used to be because coworkers are so passive aggressive now, it just takes all the fun out of it. They're just like, hey, you're gonna hate me, but I'm gonna need you to stick around and spearhead me by EOD, thanks. Office dating is a lot like Stockholm Syndrome. You're trapped in an enclosed area, you're desperate for human contact, and you're forming attachments to the very people who are holding you captive. Well, I am in a long-term relationship with someone at work. Coffee! <sighs> Seriously, I'm f***ing this cup of coffee. If you're looking to meet somebody at work, go to your next team building event and find the person who's having the absolute worst time. That's the person you want to date. They're a human. You never want to hook up with someone who's in the uh, computer world because they are nerds. They're all four-eyed, uh, scrawny, pale, mostly uh, very Semitic features. Someone that you just You're describing don't... yourself. No, I'm describing a chick. <laughs> Give me a beat. L is for the way you look at your computer with those dead eyes. Office relationships can work. I mean, offices and relationships have so much in common already. Competition, fear of being thrown aside at any moment, strict hierarchy of rules, money that you give someone for services, really all the things that make a relationship work. Look, fellas, we all know offices are full of hotties, but it's not the most effective place to pick up girls. It's hard to make a lady feel special while she's heating up leftovers in the break room. The great thing about an office relationship, you can tell all the really boring stories about your job job and the person you're dating is also interested in them. They know who Kevin is. No way, man. You never sh where you eat. Well, unless you have like a little toilet near the table, you can just go in that. And it's not like you're shitting in the food. I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, that expression's stupid. Go ahead and nail that girl in accounts receivable. <laughs>